welcome to TMM Shoots. Today we're going to be going through pathology, how to study pathology. Now, pathology is obviously the crux of medicine. Um, it's it's basically what makes it different to just studying physiology or pharmacology in isolation. Uh, doctors need to understand pathology, how it relates to physiology, and how to treat it. Um, there's many different ways to go about it, but my favorite way is oh, a big textbook using this thing here, Robbins and Cotran Pathological Basis of Disease. Um, this is the Bible. It is absolutely awesome. It has pretty much any condition you could possibly think of in here um, in heaps of detail, but that's actually good because sometimes they really sort of just like like skip over things and you want that you want to understand more. Um, and also difficult concepts that you don't understand, you can always refer back to it. Like, if you if you learn everything in here, you'd be the best clinician that exists. Um, but yeah, it's such a useful book. It has really good pictures as well. Um, try and find something not too graphic. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so it has different anemias, like pernicious anemia. You can see the picture down there. Yeah, and it's got lots of text, but it's got pictures going with it. It's like, just like a regular textbook, but it's just really good. Um, so it's got, you know, different types of dissection there. Um, and yeah, I've used this all the time. And it's also really good for case studies because sometimes case studies um, involve like integration of different things like, I don't know, chronic kidney disease. Um, and this gives a really good explanation and links to the to explanations of the individual factors and then sort of summarizes how they link together, which is great. Okay, another thing about pathology is you really have to learn the normal physiology before you do the pathology, which I've been finding hard so far this year. A uh, perfect example was uh, gut histology. I didn't really understand the physiology of the different areas of the stomach. And we had a lecture on gastritis and how you can have like fundal, fun, gastritis in the fundus versus chronic gastritis like everywhere, pan gastritis. And I didn't understand why you would get one versus the other, why would you get one in the body, why would you get one in the pylorus, I didn't understand it. And it turns out it was because I didn't know the physiology behind it and the different cell types in those areas that explained the types of gastritis. So know your normal physiology, then learn your path. If that means you have to miss path lectures to go learn up on the physiology, do that. But luckily, Robbins, this book here, has the most of the basic physiology sort of incorporated in like in an explanation. So to say, this is what normally happens, this is what goes wrong. So, yeah, uh, do all your lectures, but make sure you know the normal physiology before you start. Get this path book, um, and also look at lots of photos of, and like specimens, if you have it wherever you are, if you have museums, go have a look. Look at different tumors, look at uh, AMIs, look it up on the internet, Google Images is a gold mine for scarring, granulation tissue, all that stuff um, because it'll get you quite far and that's the way I've been going about studying for PATH and it's been doing me well for the last six months. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't checked out my other videos, check out the link up there. There'll be a link here to subscribe um, and unfortunately the, the program I've been using to write out the tutorials has stopped working because of Windows updates. Uh, trust. So I'm going to have to delay like me making more of those videos. But for the meantime, we're going to make a couple more of these videos of how to study and stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be starting semester next week, but hopefully I can get some more videos out in the meantime. So thanks for watching.